you heard there, nearly 3 million people in India, but actually up to 4 million in the surrounding area, this area that is run by a combination of different types of rebel groups and, of course, many children. Now, the problem here is that these people have been displaced, many of them from all over Syria. Many areas in Syria have reduced in population during this civil war. Idlib is the only one that has doubled. And that's because as President Assad's uh, offensive against various rebel-held areas in the country has proceeded, they have had these deals where rebels and their families can sign up and be sent off to Idlib province. The problem now is this is the last major rebel-held area. And so there's now nowhere for these people to go. So any kind of reconciliation is much more difficult. They're in much more danger. They're right up against the Turkish border. The Turkish border has been closed for years, and the Turkish government showing no signs of being willing to open it. The conditions there are very difficult. Of course, this isn't the first time that they've been attacked over the years, as there are many rebels living there, some of them jihadists, some of them moderate rebels. They've been repeatedly attacked. Much of the infrastructure Structure there is destroyed. And the major roads that run through the north of Syria do run through this area, but both ends are now government run. So it's extremely difficult for them to get new supplies in. So already they're living with reduced hospitals, uh, not much access to clean water. And many of these people living for many years in shelters, they've got very little access to more than that. So already a difficult humanitarian situation. And now they're going to face bombardment and an offensive is likely soon too.